Okay, for our yellow dye, we're going to start with Osage Orange. Here I have four ounces of Osage Orange sawdust. Uh, it's kind of a sawdust chip mixture. And what I'm going to do is I have a plastic bucket here. I'm going to put my chips in here. And then I'm going to cover my chips with 180 proof grain alcohol. Everclear is the alcohol that I use. And what this does is it gives an immediate release of color. And I have a picture and I will put that into the forum so that you can see what it looks like. But within three to five minutes, now these are nice and wet, within three to five minutes the alcohol will start extracting the color out of the chips. The standard method would be to cover the chips with water and let them sit for three to four weeks, occasionally gently heating them. But sometimes that's not always feasible. I'm trying to pull the chips back so you can see the liquid as it's already coming out of the out of the chips. Um, so I will let this sit for a couple of hours and then I'm going to cover it with water. And I will probably fill the bucket to about halfway to three quarters. And I'm going to let this sit for a couple of days. And this will allow me to extract the, the yellow, the golden yellow color from the Osage Orange the quickest. The alcohol also gives a brighter, more vivid color with the wood dyes when you use it for extracting the color. You could use a 90 proof or 100 proof vodka as well. You're not going to get nearly as bright and nearly as clear colors as you would using the Everclear. Um, I don't recommend using wood alcohol, methyl alcohol. Uh, there's a lot of dangers involved in using it. But mostly, if you're using silk or wool fibers, the wood alcohol actually dries out the silk and uh, wool fibers, unlike the ethyl alcohol, which does not dry the fibers out.